So, what's up guys? My name's RJ and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing the November wrap-up, December TBR. Um, so we've got a bit of a new setup going on here. Um, I actually, you can now see a bookshelf. I actually own books. Um, so, yeah, this is basically just like a TBR shelf. This is, these are all books that I haven't read. So, yeah, this is, these are some of the books that you can look forward to seeing me cover. You know, at some point, um, yeah. So, without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about what I read in in November. Um, yeah. So again, I read I read four books. That was pretty good. It's pretty good for me. Um, some of them are, a couple of them are pretty small actually. So, yeah. But you know, I had a good good reading month, I think. So, so I'm gonna start off. Uh, I started off a month with The Stone Sky, which was book three in the Broken Earth trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. Um, this was a really good book. This was fantastic. It was a great end to the trilogy. Um, in this one, we're definitely leaning more into sci-fi elements. Um, but it was so... it was so good. And it's such an interesting... It's, it's such a... such a different book, I think, especially from the books. I think each each book in this trilogy has really sort of stands out on its own which is what I like about it you get something a bit different with each book so um, I really love that out of, out of a trilogy so yeah um, I had a discussion with um, Baron your brain on books about the Broken Earth trilogy and that was um, it was a really good chat um, we did we went into spoilers um, so if you've read the Broken Earth trilogy and you want to hear spoilers about it I've got a discussion just on the channel um, if you're interested. So, and then the last three books. Um, I had a load of stuff from the TBR. I think I had like A Song of Ice and Fire and I had uh, The Lotlands, which you can see there. Um, I had those up for the for the TBR. I figured I was going to get some stuff done. No, I got bit by the Dark Tower bug. So I read the first three <laughs> um, Dark Tower books, which are The Gunslinger, The Drawing of the Three and The Wastelands. Um, I have reviews up for the first two. I'm going to get a review for The Wastelands up at some point this week, I hope. Um, but yeah, this was a really... These are three really, really good books. Um, the the Drawing of the Three is uh, would be my favourite out, out of the first three so far. And then I'd say... Um, I'd say it's then The Gunslinger and then The Wastelands. Um, doesn't mean I didn't like The Wastelands. These are all you know, five star books for me, these are all fantastic. So it's like it's nearly like a hundred and ninety nine ninety eight kind of thing, you know, separating them. But I really enjoyed this. Um so I'm reading I don't have it on me right now, um, but I'm reading Wizard and Glass, so that's book four. Um I'll get that finished at some point this month, so um and then I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be reading any Dark Tower in December. Um, I'm gonna take a break from King for a bit, and then in January we're gonna start off. I'm gonna read Salem's Lot because of, I haven't told to read Salem's Lot because apparently uh, the the ending of Salem's Lot is kind of spoiled in Wolves of the Kala. So I want to read that first. And I want to read Went Through the Keyhole, which is the novella that comes between Book Four and Book Five. So that's gonna be a January thing, and then hopefully in February they're gonna read. You know, Wolves of the Carla, Song of Susanna, and The Dark Tower. So, I'm really looking forward to, to wrapping up this series and seeing this controversial ending that all these fans are talking about. Um, so, um, I also had a DNF I will talk about for a wee bit, um, and that was The Dragon Moon Chair, which is book one in Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn by Tad Williams. Um, so, what I didn't like about that book was I'm... I am mainly a plot and character guy, you know, uh, I'd say m n character would be number one. Um, so uh, for me, for a book, if you if you can hook me with one of the two, um, I will generally like a book. I will generally like that book if you can hook me with one of those two. Um, and this book didn't do either for me. Uh, the characters were just not that interesting. I, I felt eh about Simon. Um, I didn't feel anything else for any of the other characters, really. Um, the only one I kind of cared 
a better boy was, was a Yoshua. I think he was the only one that was somewhat interesting. Um, and then the plot was just, I've seen this before. Um, so it does, it is a classical fantasy series. So maybe that's just something that I'm not into. I don't, I don't really know. Um, I haven't, I tried reading Lord of the Rings when I was like 14 and I didn't like it. So, um, I will probably try Lord of the Rings at some point next year. Um, but that's just, um, it's just the way it is. Uh, but I did like the writing. The writing for me is up there with Robin Hobb. Um, and then again, Robin Hobb's not my, even my favourite either. Um, that would go to Joe Abercrombie, but both are really skilled writers. Both, I think, are in different lanes. They both offer something a bit different um, to each other, so I don't really want to compare them. But, but Joe would be, I think, would be my favourite. Um, and then it would be Hobb. Um, but it's... It is the way it is, and I will give the series another go, you know, eventually. So at some, at some point, I'll pick up the series again, give it another go, see how I feel. Maybe after Lord of the Rings, if I end up liking that, I might go back to that. I might go back to Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn, just to see if my mind has changed. So um, with DNFs, I'm, unless I think the book sucks, uh, I will uh, I'll give it another go. I'm very much open to that. So... Um, December is not... We, we have a good selection here. We've got a good selection of, of books. Someone different, you know. Um, so we've got about five books here. The first two are definites I'm going to read. So the the first book is Lonesome Dove by Larry McMurtry. I have never read a Western. Um, I used to watch Western films uh, back with, uh, with my granddad when I was younger. Um, we used to watch anything with Clint Eastwood in it, um, the good, the bad, and the ugly stuff like that. Um, the same reason why I like the heroes, because again, we used to watch westerns. We used to watch war films as well, like A Bridge Too Far, uh, films like that. Um, and also, one of my favorite games of all time is Red Dead Redemption Two. So, uh, I heard um, Baron from Your Brain on Books was doing a read along for this on his channel, which is starting at the start of December. And I really wanted to get in on this because I've heard so many good things about Lonesome Dove. And I believe I believe I did watch this, the film of this as well. I think there is a film. I think, I think I remember watching something called Lonesome Dove. Um, yeah, I think we watched this, but I don't remember anything from it because it was, it was a very long time ago. So I can't wait to, to get into this. This is another uh, chunky boy. Um... Also, I just want to show you this. I don't know if that's going to come up on camera, but that is quite bold. That is quite a bold, um, that's quite a bold font. Um, I don't know if it shows up on camera as well as it does uh, when you see it in real life, but this is like, this is bold. This is a bold book. <laughs> um, but I'm really looking forward to getting to this one, so. Right, and then Baron decided to do another read along. And he picked another book that I was half interested in. Um, and that is The Terror by Dan Simmons. Um, I've never read Dan Simmons. I haven't read Hyperion. Um, this, is a, this is a story. It's sort of a fictional retelling of uh, John Franklin's uh, expedition to the Northwest Passage. Um, I believe the two, ship, the two ships over there got, got lost. Um, and this is like a sort of a supernatural horror type book there is a tv series that's now out um which has as you can see on the cover the actor who plays um i forget his name but he played Mance Raider in game of thrones so i'm really looking forward to getting to this um i wanted to watch the show i found out there was a book on it so it's like i'm gonna read the book first because <laughs> i like reading books first and then watching the film um but i can't wait to get to this this is gonna be um this will be very different a very different read for me so you know i've never really read any horror i'm not a big horror guy as well i like i like bad horror films because i think they're funny um but yeah i can't wait i really can't wait for this one so two really good books i think to start off the month um and then we're going to move on to some fantasy gotta gotta keep the fantasy going um uh, so we're gonna I'm gonna read uh, book two of the Lycanus trilogy, which is an echo of things to come. Um, I read a Shadow of 
what was lost back in April and I really really loved it and I didn't I didn't continue on for some reason straight after that uh, for whatever reason it just kept getting pushed back um, but yeah I do want to get to book two this month hopefully finish it off in January with the light of all that falls um, but I can't again there's a lot of books I can't wait for I, I'm really looking forward to reading this um, apparently this has a load of flashbacks with one particular character which you kind of half expect because of the uh, the ending of the first book which is brilliant um, if you if you haven't read it um, I go read it and then the, uh, go see that ending the ending of Lycanius is absolutely fantastic it's it's maybe something I want to do a, a dramatics reading video on um, at some point in the future but I really love um, I really love kind of the uh, the themes that go on in this there's a, there's an element that I don't want to get into because it is spoilery I think and I think it's good not knowing what it is going in um, but the 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 aspect of this is fantastic and I hope we get to see more of that because it's it's something in books that if you implement into it it's it's really hard to mess it up and it's really hard and it's really easy uh, to create plot holes out of it so I can't wait to read this so um, right so number four um, so the next book I've got is a book that I've been interested in for a few months um, I've, re I've really wanted to read this it, it the the concept of it sounds really interesting so I've really wanted to pick this up and that is the grace of kings which is book one in the dandelion dynasty i think this was a series is called by ken lu um if i'm not mistaken ken lu is the gentleman who translated the three body problem i might be wrong on that i think that's what he's most known for um but he's got his own fantasy series dandelion dynasty and it it sounds fantastic it's um I won a Hugo. Um, I don't know if he won the Hugo or he might have won the Hugo for the three-body problem. It just says he is a, a Hugo winner. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. This is basically if the heroes were engineers. <laughs> and that's a really interesting concept. Um, I, I love a series that has that can hook you with a really interesting premise. So this is one that, that I really will get to. Um, I believe the the third book, if it's if it's not already out, it is coming out soon, and then it's gonna finish off. Uh, I think towards the summer of next year, so we don't have a lot to uh, to go through. So it's gonna be a four book series, two or three of which are out. So I really uh, can't wait to get to this. Um, I really hope I enjoy this one. Um, I don't know much about Ken Liu or his writing at all. I've heard the three body problems, but eh, but then it is a translation. It's I think probably the same problem that uh, Sapkowski has with the um, with the Witcher. Again, that's translated, so you're going to lose something with that. Um, and then uh, John Gwynn's my favorite author. I haven't read Shadow of the Gods yet. I'm I'm ashamed to say I haven't read it. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to fix that. We're going to fix that in December. Um, this is one that I am, I'm determined to get to, um, with, uh, the anticipation that, uh, book two, book two is coming out next year, so I really will read this before that. Um, you've, if you're on, if you've been on booktube this year, you've heard all about Shadow of the Gods, you've heard all about John Gwynn, he's blown up in the past year, and that's been amazing to me, um, yeah. You know, you've heard all about this. The cover, exceptional. You know, so I'm I'm gonna go read this in in December. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it for the November wrap up, December TBR. Um, hope you did enjoy this. If you did, you know, leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Comment down below if if you feel so inclined, and I will see you guys in the next one. Slam.